Gloucester. Firefighters just put out a house fire there. Now we should note this is the third fire in that area in the last 24 hours. It's had crews battling some incredibly difficult conditions. Nicole Jacobs is live there for us. Nicole, this has even been dangerous for firefighters. Of course, Catherine, because when you couple the cold temperatures with an already very narrow road, it's about a quarter of a mile down the road here, a few hills here and there. When the water hits the surface, firefighters have to work on very slippery surfaces, and that creates a challenge. It's a frigid day across the state. The North Shore showing signs of struggle, especially considering calls for fire. Uh, it's been, been a couple of days worth of fires for us. Fortunately, most of them have been small. But the one Monday morning on Nashua Street was big, fully involved by the time firefighters arrived and coupled that challenge with single-digit lows. So we knew it was well underway. Uh, the question was if anyone was still trapped in the house. That was the initial report, though it turns out no one was inside at the time. Confirmation from a neighbor who house sits on the weekend. This kind of weather, we always uh, are looking at what was the cause and we kind of lean towards heating devices and such. But the cause is still under investigation here as crews gingerly work on thin ice and cold temperatures to fight flames. I should add, DPW was called to the scene as well to sand the areas that were icy. No one was injured in this situation. Again, no one was in the home, and firefighters have not been injured either. We're live in Gloucester this afternoon. Nicole Jacobs, WBZ News. Thank you.